Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about optical illusions with Stable Diffusion and ControlNet. I'm also going to show you how to make your logo blend into the landscape. But before we get started, I want to give a big thanks to Sebastian for his video, which describes this process in more detail. I'll provide a link in the description below if you want to check it out. To get started, you will need a checkpoint on a ControlNet model that I'm using for this video. Head over to Civit AI, search for the absolute reality and download that model into your automatic 1111 folder. That folder will be under Web UI, Models and Stable Diffusion. So drop that safe tensor flow in this folder. The other file you will need is the QR Monster safe tensor and YAML file. So go ahead and download that from the site. Again, I will leave the links in the description below. Drop the folder to download it into the Web UI extensions, SD Web UI Control Net and Models folder. Once you have those two, we can go ahead and start generating some images. To look at the setup that I have, I've selected the absolute reality. Sampling method is the 2M STE carers, sampling steps at 35 steps. Make sure that your width and height are 512 by 512. And then in the control net we'll get to in a moment but we need an image first before we can get here so let's have a little bit of fun so let's say we want a photo of a lion face go ahead and generate that drag this photo into the control net make sure that the control net is enabled leave the preprocessor to none Choose the QR code monster model that we just downloaded. Max out the control weight. Make sure the starting step is 0 0.2 and the ending step is 0 0.8. All right. Next, we need to change the prompt. Now that we have the control net enabled, change the prompt to a bird's eye view of the forest. Go ahead and generate. Now you'll notice the shape of the lion is now inside the shape of the forest. The other thing you'll notice is the shadow on the lion's face also helps depict the shape and the darkness of the forest and all the trees outline. But we want perhaps a better picture. And this is where the high-res fix comes in to make sure that this picture blends into the landscape. So expand the high-res fix this will enable it. Choose your upscaler. Set your steps. I have them the same as the sampling steps. Uh, I also have my denoise strength higher to really make the blend more detailed. Click generate. And there we go. Fantastic blend of forest and lion. Let's try a different picture. Let's disable the control net. Let's have a photo of a deer. Full body shot. Go ahead and generate. Once again, drag that into control net. Enable control, control net. Leave everything the same. Yeah. Leave all this the same, but it, let's use the same prompt as earlier. A bird's eye view of the forest. Click generate. And there we go, the outline of a deer within the forest. Let's try one more time. Yeah, very good, very nice. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, but with a logo. So I've got a logo here of 
the Spartan Golf Club. But for this one, we are going to pick the preprocessor. Select Invert on the preprocessor, leave everything the same. The unfortunate piece of this logo is that the Spartan text is thin and not quite as bold and large as it needs to be. And this will have difficulty making sure that the blender of the prompt stands in. So let's change the prompt to a landscape of plants. And then click generate. You can still see Spartan in the flowers below here. Let's try one more time. Fantastic. All right, let's try another logo. Let's try with the Shift logo. These logos are quite smart because they use negative space in the lettering. So the H is in the negative space. So let's go ahead and generate. Shift blended into the, into the landscape. I have one more we want to try. Mr. Cuts Barbershop. Go ahead and generate. That came out really nicely. Let's try something a little bit more with geometric shapes. So let's drag a wormhole into the picture. See what the preprocessor gives us. Okay, that sort of comes out nicely. But we want to change the prompt a little bit here. Let's say we want a city street at night. And click generate. Although, although they came out quite nicely. It's bleeding too much of the image into our city street. And that's because I've got the denoising strength too high. So if we bring this down to 7 or 6.5 and click generate. Now it looks more like a street and you have the image blended in. That's all for today and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Stable Diffusion and Automatic 1111, check out the links below in the description. As always, please support this channel by subscribing and clicking on the like button below.